I'm scarfing down my food because I'm late. I'm supposed to be at Dudley's at 8.30. And it's 45 minutes away. It's 7.45. All right, so the weather is lined up pretty good to fly at Laguna, which is the biggest site in San Diego. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna send it, hopefully. But we're heading. I'm heading right now to meet up with a whole group in a parking lot, and then we're, we have retreat drivers. And we have some other stuff going on, but I'm pretty excited. Should be a big convergence day. The tops of the thermals look like they're going to take us up to about 12,000 feet above sea level. So let's see if we can break another record. Alright, this is the first time I've made it to Dudley's. Unfortunately, I had to drive here. Yeah. Who's Van? I just got yelled at for not wearing masks. By who? Some random old guy. Where'd your mask? So at Laguna, we got a hike. By the way, Davis is gonna be our retrieve driver. Got his radio. He's gonna drive the Jeep. So it should be pretty fun.
I landed at the base of um, Granite. This is Robert, and I'm going to walk towards that property where David is, try to meet up with David. Can somebody relay that to David? And now we hike for a while. I want to say this is uh, from here. It's like two hours to the main road. So I'm just going to walk down this path and uh, I'm going to get my exercise in the heat of the day. I'm actually going to cover my face up a little bit and my ears. I got some sunscreen on, but man, is it deserty out here. As a kid, I spent quite a lot of time. I grew up in Arizona and I spent a lot of time in the desert. One of my favorite plants is this plant right here. It's called a creosote. And um, when you gnash the, the leaves and smell it, uh, it smells like uh, fresh rain. And so whenever you have like a desert storm blow through, it, uh, it smells like that, like clean house smell. It's really pleasant smell. So this cactus here that you're seeing is called a, a choya, and the choya plant, the choya plant's pretty interesting because it, uh, certain types of choyas will, um, they'll jump on you, so they call them jumping choyas. These aren't so much jumping choyas uh, here, but there are certain ones that you can literally just walk close to it and it'll break off and then stick to you. And they have these really sharp little barbs in them and they stick in your skin. So it's like a fish hook at the end, really tiny little fish hooks. Uh, this is a prickly pear. Prickly pear is pretty cool because the prickly pear has these um, little knobs on them. You gotta be careful if you're gonna eat them though. You gotta shave off all those little spines, but those are edible. These ones are a little bit too, uh, they're not ripe yet. They're almost there. And when they turn totally purple, you can eat them. You can make a jelly. They're really good. These are century plants. And the reason why they call that is because supposedly every century, once they get to a certain size, they'll send out a shoot right out of the top. And then uh, after the shoot goes up, it dies. And uh, that's when it seeds. It's pretty cool. That big hunk right there was probably a the mother of all these. They look a lot like uh, aloe vera. So this cactus right here is a barrel cactus. And then uh, this is the jumping choya that I was talking about. It's really gnarly. And you can see how this stuff just ready to fall off. Yeah, I'm not necessarily hugging the ridge to the east. I was just a second ago. Um, but basically I'm walking away from granite. And I'm heading. I, I got the, the guy's property. His uh, pylons are on my right. And I'm walking southeast. Okay, if the pylons are on your right, his property is also off onto your right, correct? That's affirmative. Okay, cool. Uh, we can't get to you then, so just keep on going out, uh, wrapping around that ridge line and go towards the road, and we'll see you there. We'll be on the edge of the road. 10-4. One hour later. Yeah. To the rescue. To the rescue. I was starting to lose lose hope. I was our... vehicle. Great adventure. Thanks Davis for picking us up, giving us a ride. Appreciate that. Thanks. 
we got some pie. Consolation prize. Losers, losers can win. Yeah. Losers can win. <laughs> so what do we learn today? We learned that um, we need to be a better pilot to fly big boy sites. And um, so I'm going to go back to the drawing board and uh, fly Blossom about 4,000 more times. Hmm. Thanks for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, you should do that. And uh, follow the show. Paraglidingtalk.com is the website. And Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Come watch. It's super fun. Yo.